Hey everybody, back with another video, and today I wanted to talk about podcasts. So I know I might have mentioned that I listen to a lot of podcasts, and so I wanted to list a few that I have listened to, a couple that I haven't listened to yet, but I have heard amazing things, and I can't wait to get into them. I, I like binge listen to a lot of these. Once, once I find out about them, it's all I'm doing when I'm cleaning and cooking and things like that. So, um, and then I'll also list a few that um, some of they're just, they're just other, so they're not really, I mean, they're kind of just all, all over the place. There's only three of them that I'll mention, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the first one I'll mention is Break Dances with Wolves. This was the first one I think I listened to where it was um, an indigenous host and and all everyone on the whole team was, they were all native. so. That was amazing for me to kind of just like hear to see people who I identify with you know hosting this show and doing amazing things and hear their take on a lot of like the current events that were happening so if you haven't followed them go ahead and look them up um Jossie Ross I believe is the person he's Blackfeet and he he is the the main host but then you also have um the other two hosts Minty Long Earth and uh, Wesley Roach and I just, I don't know, they're just such a fun crew. If you ever listen to them, hear them joke around, and, um, like, Wesley, I don't know why, but Wesley Roach just cracks me up. Minty Long Earth is also just hilarious. She's, I love her, just, her, she's just so quick to, like, no matter what they throw at her, she's just got something to say. It's, it's just really awesome. Um, anyway, that's a really good podcast. I also really like media indigena and that is one that i've been binge listening to for the past month now i think i've been kind of like back tracking and so um they go over really interesting topics whether it's like education or like they went over the dior whole like blowout that happened back last fall um in 2019 um they go over a lot of interesting topics like of course, like settler colonialism. Rick Harp, this is a, a, a what is now known as Canada. Um, this is, I think, a podcast that sort of centers their their main current events that are happening. But they also cover like topics that are across the world, which is really great. Rick Harp is an amazing host. He is so well-spoken and he does a lot of really great research. And the continuous um, co-hosts that he brings on to people like bring on uh, more depth to the conversation. He's brought on Kim Tallbear. Um, he also brings in Candace Collison and all these other academics and scholars from the area. A lot of times they're from uh, universities up in Canada. And I just really appreciate hearing these amazing, like, I don't know, high level conversations that are happening about certain topics. I think what really um, resonates with me in what, listening to those podcasts is that like, we read these articles or we hear about these things on social media or in the news and to hear the way that it's discussed on this specific podcast, it really kind of like, it's like, you know what? I always thought that or I felt that, but it's so amazing to hear someone actually like say it <laughs> and say it with such confidence and like verbiage that I never would have thought of. And it, to me, it's just like very, it's not only validating, but it's like, yeah, like it opens my eyes to all these different ways that I maybe hadn't considered things. I just, I really appreciate that one. So if you haven't checked it out, check out Media Indigena. Another one that I liked, I haven't listened to this one in a while, so I'll be honest, but I like, I loved this one. Um, it's called Toasted Sisters Podcast. The women who are hosting this um, podcast, they focus on um, indigenous food and food sovereignty and they were interviewing people from all across the country. So we have like chefs who are, you know, using traditional foods from their communities to create like these uh, high end or whatever um, versions of food. And I just, it's so good to hear people doing things like that because I would have never known that people were doing things like that. So I think that for me, it's more like just um, a breath of fresh air, I think. And then the last two podcasts that I haven't listened to yet, but I hear really good things is um, Red Nation Podcast, which is hosted by Nick Estes. And I'm not exactly sure if anyone else is involved with that project, but um, I'll try and include um, some 
some links down below. And then the other one is Wealth for Culture. I had no idea that they had a podcast and I'm so excited to start. I loved hearing them on all my relations, so I, I'm just so glad that I, they found me, I guess. I don't really know how to say that, but that's how I feel like sometimes they just come into your life at certain times and it was meant to be. So I'm really excited to listen to that podcast. And then these last three are ones that are just kind of like, kind of other. And so um, the first one is Pod Save America, and that one's amazing. It's with uh, a couple of young hosts who are really politically involved. They used to be on the Obama administration. And so if you are interested in listening to them, they talk a lot about like the political climate of what's going on. Um, they do take a democratic stance, so if you don't, identify in that way you might not enjoy them as much. The second one is Ultimate Health Podcast. That one is a really good one. They talk about a wide range of health topics um, and so if you're interested in like your sleep patterns, your gut health, your you know your physical health, like they kind of interview a lot of different experts who um, give advice on these certain topics so that's a really good one too. And then my last one, which is probably my favorite and like long-standing podcast that I've listened to, and it was introduced to me by a friend of mine, Sky, um, years and years ago, and it's called Mysterious Universe. It has these two, these two Australian hosts, and they are so entertaining and they they're so into their topic. And so basically, Mysterious Universe is uh, about like alien, Bigfoot time slip kind of <laughs> topics and so I really like that kind of stuff. I like hearing those kind of stories. It's interesting because I don't really care for scary movies but when it comes to like scary stories and like people want to like go for a cruise and like talk about you know scary stories that they've heard and stuff. I love that and so Mysterious Universe is like one of my favorite um, podcasts to kind of like if I want to take a break from you know Pod Save America because because that sometimes that can kind of like you know, be really just hard to hear sometimes, or just like it weighs on you, kind of puts you in a bad mood. Things aren't great right now. Um, so I'll take a break from that and then I'll go listen to Mysterious Universe. So definitely check that out. Um, but yeah, those are my, this is my podcast episode. I hope you all enjoyed it and uh, let me know what you think. If you want more episodes like this, happy to do that. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.